Runner at first with one gun in the inning. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And it's one and two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D-Roll, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy. Works it. The only problem, I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on an inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. And Giambi will take this one in for route number two. Batting four. The second baseman. Number 29. Now batting, Brett Boone. He was hitless in the shutout last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Late one ball, one strike. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. And a quick step off here, hoping to catch that runner leaning, but he's back easily. The 1-1. One, one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Two one. Two and two the count. On the ground to the right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is fifth. The center fielder. Mike Coming to the plate now, Mike Cameron, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's the first pitch to him. A, a ball, ball and no strikes. Cameron is usually more of a threat when facing left-handers like this. The right-handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. in the air out to center field and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over so they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here but they've got nothing to show for it Mariners nothing A's coming to bat you're watching Major League Baseball on the show Freddie Garcia is on the mound for game two Dan Plezak what's the word on him well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. Into the box, Willie Harris. Harris. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Yeah, Maddie, they need to grab this one today. You don't want to drop the first two games of the season. I don't care if it's on the road. I know you're going to have to battle, play well at home. You can't afford to get on the team bus back to the hotel 0 and 2. 2 0 count, the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Cameron moves over, makes the play, one away. Time now for a glance at Bob Melvin's A's starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, D-Row? Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing. Their best tool is the fact that 
they have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. Stepping up to the plate, Ricky Henderson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Takes as bad as this one's popped up and he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Batting third. The first baseman. Jason. G. Hombi. Next up for the A's, Jason Giambi. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. Giambi bats left, but throws right and stands in at six foot three. It's been in the big leagues for over two decades now. That kind of longevity is extremely rare in just about any sport. It's great to see. Yeah, how do you hang in there 19 years without just being an unbelievable talent, but also having the ability to look in the mirror and be willing to adapt and persevere and change on this field? It's so hard to be good at this game, and this guy for 19 years has gone to the post. Just to throw out some names, you're dealing in the company of guys like Ted Williams, the splendid splinter. Mariano Rivera went to the post 19 years. My old teammate Chipper Jones. Two balls and two strikes to Jason Giambi. Two two pitches fouled away. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. And he pops it up back behind second base. Lopez is there to make the catch and the side is retired. One two three go the A's and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Riding into the box, Eric Todd, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Eric Todd. First pitch on its way. And they'll start things out with a change up here, but this is a bit too tight. It's ball one. Garcia is making his debut on the mound today, as we've mentioned. This performance in this one could be a good barometer as to whether he's ready to deal with major league hitters at this point in his career. Yeah, Matt, this guy wasn't really the most highly touted prospect coming up through the minor league system, but one of the things he does, he throws strikes, and if he continues to pitch like he did in the minor leagues here at the big league level, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to stay here and pitch very competitive baseball. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled away. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And surprisingly today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm. But I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. So coming to the plate, Jay Buhner.
First delivery to him on the way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Garcia makes his debut here as a September call up amidst much anticipation and assuming he lives up to the expectations he could turn into a big piece of this rotation going forward. Boy you said that right Matty and I think the minor league players that get called up today they're so much more experienced than they were say 10 or 15 years ago with all these games the futures games and these minor league all star games and showcase games these guys are exposed to a lot more at an early age and I would be surprised if he pitches really well in this one. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's another 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Steele going back on it. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Batting eight, the shortstop, Jose. Into the box now, Lopez. Jose Lopez. Oh. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Batting not the left fielder. Mark McLemore. Digging in the switch hitter, Mark McLemore. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one. And two count and the pitch on a big curveball is in there for a called third strike and there are two gone and with strike three recorded there he's notched his first career major league strikeout well Matt if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher you have to figure his career is going to be a solid one all the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations so we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. In now, Ichiro Suzuki, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Ready with the 0 1. Runners off for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Ooh. 
Ready with the 1 1. And it's fouled away. One and two. Here it is. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Lopez stands at second with two gone. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. But the Mariners draw first blood here on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 1-0 Seattle. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, it. Andrew Steele. He Steel. also had three hits Andrew in the win last night. Steel. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled to the left side. And that will be the first hit for the Athletics thus far. Hey guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. That is good. A good change up that's down and away down. gives most batters yeah. problems. But Get trying to think the out. other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Striding in, Miguel Tejada. First pitch, he'll look to first. And late reactions, and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence, no problem. So that wasn't very smart baseball. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh. And that misses for ball one. Now it's one and oh. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? 3-0 and oh now. Now the 3-0 and oh offering. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that That's last pitch it. looked pretty darn good to me. Baseman. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls oh, on 3-0, and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. Into the box, Eric Chavez. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's got it to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Batting seven, the left fielder, Jeremy Giambi. So stepping in, Jeremy Giambi. It was a two-head effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Here comes the first pitch. Runners on the move for second. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Here's a look over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. And this one gets away. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. 
Well, that's not a real good look when you flail at what ends up being a wild pitch. Doesn't say much about your pitch recognition, but regardless, the runner is able to advance, so we'll see if he can drive him in now. Two out here and a runner at second. And this is popped up near second base. Lopez will put this one away, and the side is retired. The A's strand one. They trail this one one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Sean Figgins. He singled his last time up. Sean Figgins. Here's the first pitch to him. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Hats off to that one. Wow, what a now great show of range the there. Game. This ball looked Edgar. like it might get through up the middle, but Martina. check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Stepping in now, Edgar Martinez. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The wind up and the 0 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, now Dan. Bad. No, that Number was pretty 29. impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, Brett Boone. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. Now the 1 0 -oh is offered at and missed for the first strike. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it. Die. And that's the third out. Mariners are down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Jermaine Die. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Jermaine Die. First offering on its way. Grounded foul. The 0 1. 
Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. A ball and two strikes now. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Lopez has it. And there's one down now. Batting nut. The catcher. Romo. Hernandez. So digging in now, Ramon Hernandez. First delivery to him on the way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. The batter, number one, second baseman, Willie. Striding in Harris. for Oakland, Willie Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly oh, ball in this now. game. Ball one to start the at bat. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. Hernandez stands at first with one out. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Into the box now. Ricky Henderson swinging a liner. But foul. lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McLemore is after it. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it into third base as on the F7 he gets in there with two away. The first baseman. So he's striding forward now. Jason Giambi as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Now a throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Runners on first and third, two away. Line towards center field. Cameron is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble a strand a couple it remains one nothing start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report thanks Matt I talked with Mariners manager Scott service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far and overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together yes they've only scored one run but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on okay thank you Heidi stepping in and ready for another shot Mike Cameron The center fielder. Three, Mike. Cameron. Three. 
leading off the inning, Andrew Steele. And they'll need him to get something going here. The center fielder, Andrew Steele. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Suzuki giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter number four. Shortstop, Miguel Tejada. Now at the plate, Miguel Tejada. He drew a walk his first time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Tejada. 28 years old. This is his first year at the big league level. Popped him up. Todd is there. Two down. Now batting third baseman Eric Chavez. Standing in Eric Chavez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Lays off one and oh. Now one and oh. Now the one oh. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McLemore moves over, and the inning is over. A's are gone in order. They're down one nothing. Stepping in, Jose Lopez. He reached on a single in his first try. The shortstop, Jose Lopez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Harris is up with it, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The left fielder, number four, Mark McLemore. Now at the plate, Mark McLemore. He got called out on strikes his last time. So here's the cleanup hitter, Andrew Steele, as now he'll look to bring home that tying fielder. run from second Andrew with a base hit into the outfield. Steele. First pitch on its way. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Suzuki facing back. And gone. A dramatic home run that gives them their first lead of the game. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field second home run early in the year and with it they've left in front now three to one. Well he hit a homer last night too so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff don't give him anything. He can extend his arms on. You do? And he's going to make you pay for it, just like he did. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Ladies you say Kikuchi takes over please. on the mound here with nobody out now in the sixth inning. Seattle, number 18. Now batting. The shortstop. Into the box. Miguel Tejada. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Kikuchi, a left-hander who goes an even six feet. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Hi. 
three runs already home here. Line toward the alley in left center. Cameron will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Now that Absolutely third jumped base. all over that there fastball. Is. And it might have been a home run if he had it, any elevation under it. But it was basically right at the outfielder. In now, Eric Chavez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The relay and a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Their own pitcher is absolutely Jeremy. dealing right now, so this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Digging in and looking for more, Jeremy Giambi. First offering on its way. Fly ball out to right field. Suzuki moves over. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 now feet away now with two men right gone. Jermaine. In now, yeah. Jermaine Dye. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they get three runs on two base hits, with one of them being the big home run. We're through six full. It's the A's three and the Mariners one. Leading off the inning, Mike Cameron, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Garcia is working a real gem here in his major league debut. Any of his doubters won't have a lot to say, at least after this one. You'd like to see them get him out of here before he leaves with a bad taste in his mouth. He was really pretty much in control of this game for the first five, six innings. And as these pitches and innings have started to mount up, you can just see that he isn't quite as sharp and he's not getting the swings and misses that he did early on in this game. The one two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. One two is yeah, swung on and missed strike three. And he's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked one. anyone either. He's just Aaron. pounding the zone. His Stop. stuff is dirty today. Stepping in now, Eric Todd. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. On a line, that's a base hit. Next for Seattle, the designated hitter, Jay 
Buhner to the plate now is the designated hitter, Jay Buhner. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. Now a snap move over to first, and he'll get back in standing. From the stretch. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That swing tells me he was really now trying batting. to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, okay. but that wasn't a great pitch okay. to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box now, Jose Lopez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Now to the plate, Ramon Hernandez. Already two for two. Look He'll look to add on right here. Hernandez. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air down the right field line. Suzuki sprinting after it, but this will land untouched. The 0 1 pitch is in there for the second strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. This one's down to third. And there's one away. Had to now protect batting. there with Second two strikes. Base. And he just Willie. got it off the end of the bat. Harris. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Into the box, Willie Harris. Maybe lucky to make contact there as his curveballs hit fouled off to the left hand side. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. The 1 1 home. Pulled toward right center field. Cameron is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second now out. The designated hitter, Ricky. Henderson. 
Digging in, Ricky Henderson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for. Your attention, please. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one now man out, and up to bat next, one of the most Edgar prolific DHs to ever Martinez. play, Edgar Martinez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Man, the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll be back in standing up. A ball and a strike. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the feel back for it. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Good hard slider at 88. It's 1-2 and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike. And now there are two gone. That's a big strike out there with the tying now run over at first Number base. 29. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Digging in now, Brett Boone. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. And now the third baseman sneaks into position to cover a potential drag bunt. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That just misses off the inside for ball one. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Hit in the air down the right field line. Die on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Mariners leave a couple. They still trail it here three to one. Plate. Jason Giambi. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so the far. First baseman, Jason Giambi. Here's the pitch, and that's in there for strike one. You know, guys. Sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Bounce to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for Oakland, the center fielder, Andrew Steele. Digging in once again, Andrew Steele. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Popped up. Now the pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are.
batter two away now. The batter number four. Shortstop, Miguel Tejada. Settling in now, Miguel Tejada. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Taken, but called a strike. Popped him up. Martinez moving to his left, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the A's as the lead remains three to one. Into the box now, Mike Cameron. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last. Comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 22. First pitch on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. The wind up and the 0 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Dive is under it. One down. The catcher, number one, Eric Todd. Stepping into the box, Eric Todd. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. 
Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. And he lays off for ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One, two. Hit back up the middle. Backhanded. Throw on to first, and the Mariners are now down to their final out. Now battle. Good pitch the right there to run the two seamer in yeah. on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Standing in now, Jay Buhner. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that'll get down for a two out single. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. Boy, d that's the awful batter, scary from a pitcher's standpoint. But what's it feel okay. like when you hit one as a hitter okay. that you know is going right at a pitcher? Yeah, it's scary from the offensive standpoint as well. You know, you're taught to hit it right back where it came from. But those moments right there make you cringe as you're coming out of the box. We got lucky with that. Next for Seattle, Jose Lopez. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Set and the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Buner, the runner at first with two gone. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Oakland wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Mark Mulder earns his first win of the season. Street closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Athletics. Three runs on seven hits. One error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.